Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and we will be discussing, I'll be sharing on how to solve the limit of sine u over u as u approaches zero. So previously in our tutorial video, no, so we were able to arrive with the limit of sine u over u as u approaches zero being equal to one. So we see the derivation of this no, using the L'Hopital's rule. Now, if ever we can encounter a function in a form of sine u over u as u approaches zero, then we can immediately set that limit now being equal to one. Or even it's reciprocal, u over sine u as u approaches zero, then it is also equal to one. Okay, so let us have some sample manipulations using this sine u over u form as u approaches zero, so being equal to one. Okay, now we are given a ratio where we have a sine of 5x over the sine of 4x as u approaches 0. Now, when we substitute 0 to the variable no, x, so the sine of 0 is equal to 0. So, with your denominator, this is also sine of 0. So, we are taking a form of 0 over 0. Now, an alternate to this is to use the L'Hopital's rule. But how are we going to manipulate the given no? So, taking a form of sine u over u. Okay, so if I have sine of 5x to produce a sine u over u form, then it must be provided with 5x also in the denominator side. So, I just rearranged my expression this way. So, sine 5x and the sine of 4x no, are placed this way. So, a space is provided for me to insert an expression which is actually u in my sine function. So if I have 5x here, so I must provide 5x in its denominator. But this is a new expression which is not part of the given. So you need a neutralizing factor putting the same expression at the numerator side. So this is provided to neutralize the expression here being inserted. So if I have 5x here, I can provide 5x in the numerator. If I'm inserting 4x here because this is my u, 4x in my sine function no? in the denominator side. So I am providing 4x in the numerator side and I am neutralizing it with the same expression of 4x in the denominator. Now I know that the sine u over u has a value of 1. This is also u over sine u that's 1. So what is left is 5 over 4 because x can be eliminated. So the limit of this is equal to 5 over 4. Okay, so that's the answer. Now, number two. If I have to take the limit of a ratio, I have 3x plus sine 2x over x. No? So if that is replaced, our variable is replaced with 0, then again, that is a 0 over 0 form. I'm applying a theorem on limits. No? I divide with x every term, so I have 3 for my first term and the second term is the sine 2x over x. According to theorem, I can take the limit of the constant as a term, as a function. So I try to apply the sum rule in the limits evaluation. So 3 for my first term. Then I can take the limit of my second term wherein it takes a form almost express a sine u over u. But this is not exactly sine u over u because if I have my u which is 2x, my denominator is only x, so it's lacking with 2. So if 2 is inserted in the denominator side as a factor, then I must provide a new factor in the numerator side, which is 2, because 2 over 2 is 1. No? Now again, I have 3 from the first term. I take the limit of sine u over u, whose value is 1, so 1 times 2. So all in all, I have the limit that's equal to 5. Okay, next, number 3. Sine squared 3x or the square of sine 3x times a cosine x and that's over x squared. So it is 0 over 0 when direct substitution is made. No? Now actually there are many ways to solve the limits. L'Hopital's rule can be. But if you have to use a L'Hopital's rule, that's complicated because this is a product of two trigonometric functions. No? So it's not good maybe. No? Now, you can also use no? Substitution no? using a calculator following the definition of limits no? where you have to use a value which is very close to 0 like 0 0.001 but before using that make sure 
that your calculator is, uh, is set in a region unit. Okay, so before you use that. Okay, so in the new method or a new formula, no, which is taking a form of sine over u. Now take note that I have a sine function of 3x appearing twice because that is raised to power 2. So I'm now manipulating this way. So sine 3x, I also have another factor of sine 3x. If I have x squared in the denominator, I put an x here x also in the other sine function, 3 is a new expression that is inserted so in order to have the u form, no? sin u over u form. So if I'm inserting 3 in the denominator side, neutralizing factor must be provided. So I take two factors of 3, so I have also 3 and 3 for the numerator side. No problem with the cosine function because the cosine of 0 is 1. Now, this is 1 according to this. Now, that the limit that the sin u over u as u approaches 0 is 1. So, I have 1 from the first factor. I also have 1 in the second factor. The cosine of 0 is also 1. And I have 3 times 3 which is 9. So, the limit of which is equal to 9. Now, how about your number 4? We take a limit of a ratio where the numerator does not involve a sine function. So we have 3 minus 3 cosine of 2x over 4x squared. When x approaches 0, then again this is 3 minus 3 because this is 1. So that's 0 and that's also 0. So 0 over 0. Now if I cannot find the sine u over u form, then I may start working with this using the L'Hopital's rule. Okay, apply my L'Hopital's rule. I have 0 for this and I have minus 3 times the derivative of cosine which is a negative sine u du dx that's why I have 2 here. Derivative of 4x squared is 8x. Okay, now there is already a sine function and there is x left in the denominator side. No? So if I have sine 2x dapat, there must also be 2x in the denominator and 2x is part a factor of 8x. So I have 2x here so the other factor left is 4. So, 6 over 4, correct? And I have the sine u over u form where the value of this is 1. So, the limit for this function is 6 over 4, which can be reduced by 2, both sides. So, I have 3 halves, or the limit is equal to 1.5. Okay, so that's all for this kind of limit evaluation. Okay, so thank you for watching. So... I will be glad if you will be inviting others no, also to subscribe over our channel and I will also be happy no, if you can use this approach in finding limit productively in your final examination. So I hope to see you smiling after your examination. Okay, so bye-bye and good luck. No? So good, good night. Okay, so bye-bye everyone.